This module will play and pause on each slide, allowing you to read and view the content on each slide. Number 50, Robert John Rice. And from L.A., that's 89 of Todd Paperney. The 27 is Joseph Ryder and the 3 of Cheryl Highland. Robert Salcedo in the 13th place started 16 car. And the Nick of or the 9 of Nick Bellina starting 14. 23, Robert Amato. 73, Mike DeGregorio. 77, Josh Mason. 79 of John Bridger. Green flag is out. We're figure eight racing, and we're nearly spinning out. Figure eights on this full course. A lot of speed. A lot of cars. Having to oh navigate. Oh, boy. Watch out, hay bills. Watch out, K rails. Watch, Watch out, out, cars. <laughs> yeah. I see everyone jumping behind the K rail. Smart decision. Battle up front for the lead. The 81 of Howell looking to the driver's right of the 64 of Jones. He's going to have to settle back for second. And we are going to see some intersection. The 79 of Bridger out of San Diego says, No, I don't think I'm going to make it through this one. And if he stays there, might have a rear end collision. Yeah, you want to be careful. Oh, if you boy. stop, you might have someone come up from behind you and hit you, Tommy. Like we talked about, you lost all of your, your safety zone basically on both sides because you can't really avoid anything on the other side. Here Where we go. Going? Where are you going, Jack in the Box? Oh, he's going to have to hit the brake. That's the number he, 23. He's stopping at the drive through right now. That is the number 23 stuck in the middle. Robert Amato side by side for the lead between Jones and Howell. And we're seeing a great race, and we haven't even seen the crossover in action yet. Oh, just wait. Just wait. Oh, it's here we warming go. up. Oh, boy. I think we've got the tail of the snake. Now, here's what's fun, Tommy. That 73 machine that we see there, don't forget, that is the daughter of James Bolinas. James right now. Oh, James. boy. I hope you all have your phones and your cameras rolling on this one, folks, because it's going to get even crazier. It only gets closer from here. Hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. Some of them are crazier than others. Oh, boy. 77 sneaking through. We bought a crescent wrench earlier from that 77 of Josh Mason. Still battling up front for the lead and lap traffic through the crossover. Mason don't care. No. That 77 does not care, and you can tell by the paint job, Tommy, on the side is written the Mason Missile. Oh, there it is. And they misspelled Missile. Lap oh, making it through. Now there is almost some hay bales that just got wiped out. What a great battle for the lead is now Arco in the 19 machine closing in on Jones. I want to correct myself. I forgot the 73 machine is actually Mike DeGregorio. We'll see. We'll see James' daughter in the skip plate race. That's right. So just a quick correction there. Battle up, up front think, through turns number three and four. I up think front for the lead. Howell's got an issue in that 81 machine, Tommy. Yeah, he's battling for a while there. Oh, lock those brakes up. <laughs> he locked those things up for a while. Yeah, he did. It looks like his brakes are as good as mine in my skip plate car. Contact through turn number one and the intersection. Remember, these drivers driving like pros here. We got to see a 90-minute race in Indianapolis, but we've made it through this crossover. We've made it through the intersection. No contact as of yet. Yes. And now next time by, who's closed in? Wait until next time when the leaders close in on the tail of the field, the back of the snake. We, call. We, we have two groups right now, and neither one's going to want to lift for the other one. Watch out, leaders. Contact. There goes a hay bill and a big mess in the intersection. Argo will hold on to the lead, but Anderson now fighting to his outside. <laughs> the five of Mooney gets hit. Argo into the lead. We have obliterated some hay bills. Oh, man. Greg Bibble's not going to be happy on this one. Are you kidding? I'm sure he's laughing. <laughs> Oh, boy. That's the number nine parked in the center there. Nick Bellinas. Oh, oh Jack in the box. Oh, oh trouble at the intersection. Anderson, we go yellow. Spins it out, coming to the crossover with some contact. Fans, what do you think of this figure eight race so far? Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, how, oh, how man. many of you want to do a figure eight race? We go red right before it, but now the 
beautiful Irwindale police vehicle, Ken Porter Auction. Police car getting ready to peel off, and we're going to continue this figure eight. Oh, the 79 locked him up again. Yeah, Are you guys ready to go back figure eight racing? Superman's in the house. He's walking oh, down. Watch out, police car. The police car almost got hit. That messed up Robert Rice. He gets hit from behind in the 81 machine of Howell Rice in the seven. All right, Tommy. We, we had our halfway break. As we close in now on the halfway point, you'll see the uh, two flags go up. Maybe, maybe. Oh, look at the 79. He's going to go for it. Whoa, boy. You notice that that car's already exchanged one door from Piggy Park. I, oh, no, it's been two doors. So it'll be a, probably a couple others after tonight. John Bridger, what's he going to do here? He's going to have to stop. Uh, now he's going. Well, Eddie... Howell in the second spot, but Argo, Jeffrey, look at the lead he's got in the number 19 machine. Yeah, and uh, it sometimes compounds itself, Tommy. If you're able to get a lead, sometimes that's what makes the difference. But also, you're by yourself. You can't really duel it out with these groups. Oh, look out, 79. Look out, 79. All the fast drivers coming behind. Not that he cares. Battle between the 27 machine and Brighter, as well as that. Oh, yeah. Oh boy! Oh boy! Jack in a box. I think I think the 79 found a parking spot, or at least a tractor tire to drive into. A 23 getting gutsy now. Oh boy! <laughs> Robert Amato. The Mason missile. Robert Amato in the Jack in a box car makes it through, weaves and goes. Papperney gets into brighter out of the turn. You see them locking up the brakes. Watch out! <laughs> the Mason missile, folks. <laughs> I told you he's the craziest driver out here so far. There's no surprise to me that he shares the last name as you do. There's no room in that crossover. Oh, How did he no! get through? Bryce Jr. going to have to stomp on the brakes at number 50. I, I I thought that was it. The biggest car on the track is Brider's 27 machine. He makes it through okay. Oh, boy, right through the center goes Labrosiano in the 95. We're closing in on five laps to go when they hit the stripe. Oh, here comes Mason doesn't care. Mason. They hit made the it. They made it. I don't know how. But I'll tell you how Mason hit the brakes for the first time. Too. And look at the lap traffic over in turn number two. Argo in the middle of it. Powell closing in. And the number 81 closing into the You're white right. black 19. You're right. This is the battle for the lead going in front of you right now. The 81 machine of Powell is closing in on your leader. 19 is Argo. He's got lap traffic in front of him. They, oh, Argo has to get on the brakes there. And now here comes Howell to the inside. 81 looking for the lead. They get into each other. Beating and banging. Door handle to door handle action. And Howell. Oh, Howell. Into the lead, but into lap traffic. Here comes Argo. And he had to hit the brakes to keep from the track tire. My blue barrel is still standing, man. Yeah, I'll give you that. Howell goes to the inside of lap traffic. Argo following through. The Mason missile doesn't care who's the leader. Here comes Argo back to the lead. Cross over action in turn number one and two. It's a race within a race. You got the crossover, you got the battle. Three laps to go. And Mason missile <laughs> is just about to run into everything. I, I love that driver and that car. Look at the battle for the lead. Coming to the check stripe at the moment. We've got two to go. Howell in the 81, in second, the 19 of Argo. These two have been swapping positions the last five laps. 19 machine, like Tommy said, that is Argo. Howell in the 81 machine, in second. Howell's bumper. all over that rear bumper, bumper, pushing them. They're not going to have to deal with intersection. It is a fight to the finish. White flag is in the air. Howell looking. He's got to use that bumper to get by Argo. Argo goes a little bit wide, gives him the room, but Howell cannot get the drive out of turn number two into turn number three for the 81. He's gonna throw it in here, looks for a tighter turn into the bumper, the 19 machine goes sideways. Howell looks to the inside. They're gonna be side by side coming to the line. Argo takes the checkered flag. What a race, Howell finishing second. They're not done racing, by no, the way. No, they're not, then why would they be? 37 getting the third spot at the last lap. And oh, trouble over in the turn, the Mason Missile this strikes all, again. This is all post-race. 
Checkered flag wave, the race is over. But these drivers not slowing down, folks. Make some noise for your figure eight competitors here tonight. Wow, what a crazy race. What a crazy race. Your safety and the safety of everybody else around you, please stay away from the fence.